everything is here. This morning I got a new package and we finally got the last few missing pieces to finish up the whole Reed Eater fan testing battle station, whatever the hell I, I've built here. And let's have a quick look at what we got. Um, first up, instead of just... Need something to cut it. Uh, first up, instead of buying more of those uh, black tubes, I decided to buy a transparent one, uh, or one long three meter transparent one, because I realized during the buying process that it makes so much more sense to see where liquid is going through so that I know when the whole thing is filled. It's not a designer build, it doesn't need to be pretty. It can also be transparent and slightly ugly. It just needs to function. Uh, so that should be solved. You can use the, the transparent ones for basically everything, but I think three meters is just not enough. But for everything between water block and reservoir and water block and pump, we can use the black ones. That, that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so we have more than enough of the black ones. Then what we also got is that thermometer that goes somewhere in between the tube so that we can measure the water temperature instead of spikes within the, the CPU itself, giving us kind of a, a CPU cooler water block biased result. And this will only measure water. And I'm, I don't know if we will rely on this. We will have to see. I will try to mount it uh, like before or after the water exits every radiator and before it enters into the reservoir so I can measure it at the same distance from every from each radiator essentially I, I don't know how well this will work I have never worked with one of those uh, in-loop water temperature sensors I don't know if the the difference in water temperature to the room like the Delta T from that is even big enough to, to measure anything. But we, we will see once everything is hooked up and we'll benchmark the first fans. Then the last piece we got, I already opened it, is kinda, it's, it's a joke. Look at this tiny tube. It's so freaking cute and tiny. Because I absolutely wanted to use that alpha cool uh, reservoir pump combo just because of the sole fact that I can fill it from the top, which makes stuff so much easier, given that there is a possibility that I will have to do it over and over again. And, I mean, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just quickly see if this even fits at all. I, I have no clue. I can only hope, but I can now already tell you that we cannot use that waterfall effect thing that, that just won't work anymore. Uh, yeah, there was no O-ring. Please fit. Yeah, it fits. Yeah, this is a lot more appropriate for what we are about to do here. This makes so much more sense. So I guess at this point, let's first start with mounting this because it's like the last thing that is not mounted yet. And I guess at that point we can start posting the first time and filling that thing with water. So we are finally getting to an end here. Okay, I believe I lost basically every screw that I had that is supposed to go in there from like five years ago. So now I somehow need to find appropriate replacements, which as it turns out is a, a lot harder than I believed. Yeah, nothing sticks. Okay, let's, let's mount this sucker. Oh, now finally the time that I have been waiting for way too long. This looks like a great position. And look at this. Uh, these are, or those are, how should I call them? The, the washers with a thread. 
that come with the noise blocker e loop x and those are these hooks that i got from like one of the asa blizzard aios and they are fitting perfectly and because i have no clue how to actually mount down this alpha cool combo here it this is just perfect it just works flawlessly and i'm so happy about that and yes i want to have that thing standing no chance that i'm laying it flat way too much chance that at some point every, anything here will run dry and i would just not take that risk no chance looks pretty tight to me it's tighter than looks pretty strong <laughs> it's stronger than my whole desk okay so i think the best approach from here on is to take that transparent tube right here and cut it into 20 centimeter long pieces those are going to be or this will be for both sides of the radiator so 20 in 20 out and from there we can already mount those down with my box full of mini fittings which are really cheap because they are for like the thinnest available tube out there uh, but it's going to be perfect for the use case so let's do that and then we can start thinking about that uh, quick uh, quick fix quick ads however it's called quick 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 connect connector quick connect connector great name but i have never worked with that one and that's also going to be quite interesting for me as a first time this is roughly 15 and this is roughly another 50 so this should be 20. now before we do something stupid let's just think uh, where are in and out here are in and out yeah 15 here 15 here this should work this is going to be harder so the in and outs are going to be a lot longer just to be sure that we can like uh, connect them I don't want to have any issues later on but we have two of these black ones so that should do just fine Okay, two for everyone and this is what we are left with. Not so bad if you ask me. Oh yeah, those, those are cheap fittings, like for two bucks each. Oh yeah. Aren't these supposed to be like turnable with a thumb? Well, apparently they are not. Maybe it's easier if I put them into the red first. Oh yeah, they are hurting my goddamn fingers. Oh yeah, this is definitely easier.
What the hell have I created? This this is the weirdest hentai waifu thing I what Oh this this grosses me out. This is disgusting. Uh, so the last line I will be doing for today is going to be from the pump into the water block of the CPU because every other line is going to be one of those quick connect ones and I... Does this make sense? Yes, yes, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so I will leave all of those for the next video and today this is going to be the last one but a, we came very far for the few hours that we had today and B, this this weirds me out a lot more than I initially believed. This is the weirdest thing I have ever built. It's There's nothing normal about this. Yes, I know that I don't need to make them as tight as I'm doing, but this is supposed to be forever. Or as long as I break something. Okay, we have one line working. All the other ones are just... this is just gross. But for the next video we will connect all of those quick connects and we will figure out where exactly we'll put the in for the pump or for the reservoir in this case and we will connect the missing lines that are still left. It's, it's not a lot of work to do and it's one video and then we are finally ready to finish this and benchmark the crap out of every fan that we've got. It's going to be fun but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.